we've had one additional death um, in the last uh, two days, and that is a, a, a community death in a known uh, COVID positive um, case, a man in his 40s, and the coroner service, um, as with all un sudden unexpected deaths in the in the community, is investigating. I wanted to start by saying, uh, expressing my condolences, the condolences of everyone involved, to the family of uh, the person who died today, uh, no day where um, anyone passes away from COVID-19 is a good day. And uh, while well, we reflect on different numbers here, we want to acknowledge the loss that people must be feeling today, the community of friends, the community of coworkers, and we, uh, we wanted to express uh, our deep sympathies for their loss. Yeah, so yes, unfortunately, this person um, did pass away at home. Um, and was a known positive case, so that's uh, uh, you know doubly tragic for us. Um, and it, it was a, a man in his 40s, so we are of course concerned about uh, the effects that this virus can have, even on young people. We know that there's been some young people in other parts of the country, including uh, someone in their 20s who has um, unfortunately died in Alberta over the last few days. So it is young people are not immune to this. Um, most of the people who have unfortunately died here in British Columbia are people from uh, the long-term care home. So they have been mostly over, with the one exception of a person in their 60s, everybody else has been in their 70s or older. So it is tragic at any point in one's life, um, but it does go to show us that even younger people are not immune to the, the serious effects of, of COVID-19.